All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are faced with a dilemma of significant proportions. It's the Medal of Summers here in Karachi, Pakistan, June 12th to be exact. And uh, the problem is, I'm out of mangoes. And, uh, you know, life's just empty without uh, at least a handful of uh, mangoes in this sort of weather. So, we're taking a short trip to the nearby market where uh, I plan on uh, purchasing uh, uh, a specific kind of mangoes which are, uh, 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 you know, grown locally in this area in the province of Sindh in Pakistan. And, and, and those type of mangoes I particularly like. They are called uh, Sindhri and they are also dubbed as uh, the queen of mangoes. So... I have over here my trusted uh, plastic basket, as you can see, and the idea is basically to beat plastic by plastic. And uh, the reason I use this is to cut down the use of plastic bags, which are usually handed out by pretty much all the vendors you go to uh, at the local market. Uh, uh, you know, whatever you're buying, mangoes, you know, daily groceries. Um, basically anything and, and, and you know that just uh, pollutes the environment unnecessarily so what I do is avoid getting those plastic bags instead I put um, anything I get into this so uh, with that said let's start our journey and inside my room so what I'm gonna do is close the light here we're gonna close the door come out into a small Space, which should be a living room, but I never actually bothered, uh, uh, you know, using much furniture over here. This is the door for my apartment. Let's close that. I just want to check whether I have my keys in my pocket, otherwise I'll be locked out of the apartment. Close this off. Give you a view of uh, the entry over here. And this is the building where I reside in. Just trying to keep my voice a bit low because there are other people. Okay. Not the cleanest of places. Well, you know, that's how it is. You have a small office and the basement over here. Sort of like a printing press. And uh, then on the top floors, we have some uh, security offices and such. Just a view of the street nearby. As you can see, not the cleanest of places. But the surprising fact is, it's a bit more cleaner than usual. It's partly, uh, mostly the fault of the people living over here. Uh, because, you know, they, they just resort to throwing trash out in the, in the street, which is very unfortunate instead of, uh, you know, throwing it in the designated trash areas. The sewage system over here, I guess I'll just leave uh, the discussion on that because we can make an entire video on that. Okay, let's continue on. Moving towards the street next to my building. we come out to yet another street where you can see some of the shops that are open. Uh, this area is also known as phase 2 extension of the DHA region, Defense Housing Authority in Karachi, which was originally uh, uh, constructed for uh, military servicemen like in the armed forces, but now pretty much everyone can live over here, including uh, civilians and, and, and of course people retired from the military and such so coming out of the street and onto a relatively bigger road uh, 
and now we are getting into some traffic. It's a busy Saturday. It's almost 5 p.m. here. The weather is as usual humid and hot, which is kind of a regular theme here in Karachi. And you can see most of the shops are actually open right now, which was not the case because of the whole uh, corona pandemic. And, and, and usually shops would start closing around this time. But because, you know, we are in June of 2021 and the cases have somewhat dropped. So the government has allowed most of the shops to stay open till a relatively later time, like up till around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. That's why we are seeing, uh, you know, most of the shops open here. Some banks. There isn't actually a, a footpath over here, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. And so you have to be careful, especially with the traffic in Karachi, which is not the best. Let's just put it that way. So it's best to just, uh, you know, watch out for yourself more than anything. It's a good thing there are some clouds. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of uh, noisy motorcycles over here. Rickshaws and rickshaws. I hope my camera work is, uh, you know, up, up to the mark or, or it's appropriate because I haven't done this many times. And I, you, you can see some uh, poles over here, electric poles, which are actually very old, and that's how the electricity is basically run over here. Uh, standing poles with wires, like, like this huge one. So it's one of the reasons why we have a lot of power out of this. Not, uh, you know, something like you would probably get in the west where you have wiring underground. Far from it. This, in this particular area where I live in, there are a lot of shops for, uh, you know, getting getting work done on your uh, vehicles, your automobile, you have a motorbike and stuff like that. The local bakery. Uh, which may be, uh, uh, you know, while coming back, I will uh, actually make a trip, trip over here as well. I'm not sure whether they're going to allow me to film anything inside, but we can try. We can try. You can see the trash in an empty plot over here. That's the reason I use this, you know, plastic basket because, I mean, look at that. It's just, it's just bad. All that plastic, you know, it's terrible. It's around like three or four minutes uh, uh, away from uh, the place where I get, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, the fruits and the vegetables if, if, if required. Uh, what I'm getting is just the mangoes for today. But it's a fruit and vegetable market combined with the meat market just like five or ten minutes walking distance from where I live. Now we get a semblance of a footpath which is actually not a complete footpath but you know. Oof. It's hard. It is very hot. And it would actually be hotter if the sun were out. But thankfully we have some clouds for a change. Okay, so we are taking a right turn from over here to hit the fruit market. Because it's June, it's the middle of June, that's when the mangoes are the most abundant. The, the types that I like, the Sindhari ones, they, they are only available for a very short time. 
like around a month or so. I mean, you can get them afterwards as well, but not only do the prices go up, you're not going to get the good quality because they are stored away for selling later on. You get the really good stuff in, in the month of June and, and maybe up till the middle of July. And that's about it. See some more cars over here. Another bank. And now towards the left we are going to be hitting the fruit market which is just around the corner I'm sweating like anything sweating bullets it's not easy being greasy as you can see some uh, optical eyewear shops you know, electric shops. Hmm. I think they still kind of use the TVs or microwaves over here. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going, making a left turn here and hitting the fruit market. I am going to check first whether the place where I get the mangoes from is actually open or not. I have to be careful, very careful crossing the road. It's only one specific vendor that I get it from because I'm comfortable getting it from him. It's very nice over here. And he is open. So let's check what the ongoing price is. Hello. Yeah. Sindhari, how are you? Yes, I am. says it's 150. 4 kilos. What you want to do is uh, um, get the golden ones and not the ones that are looking like, you know, with a bit of, bit of color green like that over here. What I'm going to do is choose them. That's the reason why I bring my plastic bag. So I don't have to use this, you know, shopping bag. So 150 times 4 is 600 by my calculation. of beggars. In Pakistan, that's kind of a, it's a problem, you know, poverty in general. When you hit the streets over here, there are just a lot of beggars. Okay, so I gave him a thousand rupees, he's returned 400, so that's good. And uh, that's it, we have mangoes. If you go further up, you can get, you know, vegetables over here. A couple of streets down the road, you can also get, uh, uh, you know, chicken meat, uh, beef meat, mutton. You can even get some seafood because Karachi is right next to the Indian Ocean. So it's pretty common over here, but I just needed the mangoes and now we are making our trip back. And uh, 
you know, you if you if you come to the market for the first time, you're probably gonna haggle a bit, negotiate the prices and all. As long as you're aware what the ongoing price is. But I don't do that because you know I'm 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 kind of a regular over here. So I've gotten used to coming to the vendor that I went to, and he usually quotes the right price, which is 150 rupees per kilo. The ongoing. Uh, I think that's equal to uh, uh, one dollar, and that's the ongoing rate. Uh, one dollar is around 155 rupees. So you can get a kilo of Sindhuri mangoes, and in a kilo you get like uh, you know three or four mangoes, depending on the size. So it's quite cheap if you compare it to a place in the west. See some buildings over here. Uh, uh, you know, these are residential apartments, very old. It's actually a less noisier part of uh, the area where I live in. Where I have my building, my apartment, it's extremely noisy because it's right next to a very big highway. Oh. We are also gonna go to the local bakery. Um, maybe I'll get a brownie or something. I just want to show it to you guys, and, and this is pretty much the only reason. actually a couple of other places that I wanted to take you guys as well but we leave that for the next trip which I plan on uh, making maybe tomorrow which is a Sunday so it's a little less crowded and you know basically just want to show you guys where I get my groceries and everyday stuff like milk cartons eggs you know stuff like that simple everyday stuff chapatis Flat bread, very common food over here. Got a very heavy basket, four kilos of mangoes. It's Blue Ribbon Bakers, that's the bakery that I plan on taking you guys for right now. Since it's an enclosed place, I'm gonna put on my mask first and uh, yeah, it's just to respect the whole. Uh, situation with the ongoing coronavirus. So let's do that. What I specifically want to get is a chocolate fudge. So let's see if it is available. Usually they have it, but sometimes it's not available. I'm gonna keep my camera slightly tilted. It's there. Here is a Nutella. How much is it? Very good. And the chocolate fudge? How much is it? Nutella. 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 I'm getting this.
ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਜੇ ਲਿਫਾਫਾ ਨਾ ਬੰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੰਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੁਪਰ ਮਟਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਪਰ ਨਾ ਡਾਲੀ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਾਪਰ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਬਾਗ ਲਿਆ ਪੇਮੈਂਟ ਵਾਪਸ ਕਰਨੀ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਸਰ ਸਾਥ ਕੇ ਵਾਰ ਕਰਦੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ I think I, what I got is a fudge. They call it a Nutella. And, and the other one is the chocolate fudge which is around uh, 100 rupees. I'm going to take my mask off because it's, you know, in this heat, wearing a mask is difficult. I do apologize for the bad camera work there, but I was trying to be not frisky with my camera because I wasn't sure I was going to be allowed to film that. But, you know, we got away with it ah, as you can see it's a very crowded very congested place and that's how the whole city is basically karachi has a population of uh, approximately 20 million and possibly growing which is actually 10% of the entire country in this one city. Pakistan, I believe, has an approximate population of 200 million, 20 million alone in Karachi, so this is what you get. Buildings everywhere, vehicles everywhere, people everywhere. Very common, a local uh, scrap collector. you know we'll collect uh, plastic items and and sell them on for recycling metal stuff like that we're taking a shortcut by the way now taking you in between uh, some of the streets here so we can get quickly to our place it's very hot actually where i get uh, sometimes uh, uh, some flat bread called a roti chapati i think they're closed right now it's just like 5 pm but i'll take you over here another time okay and this is the street next to uh, the one where i live as you can see a lot of uh, car shops car repair shops car maintenance you know stuff like that and here we are this is street where i live in so i'm going to turn off the video now and i'll see you guys next time take care